Services by training in the Department of Health Policy and Management at Columbia University. So a large share of Indian healthcare expenditures are out of pocket, and of that, a large share on the form of medicines. So policies like intellectual property rights that affect the prices of medicines can have major implications, both for affordability, but also for access. The trips required countries such as India to introduce product protection in pharmaceuticals, uh, which India and a number of developing countries previously had not done. India, like a few other countries, such as Brazil and Argentina, took advantage of flexibilities under the agreement to try to deny the grant or restrict the grant of certain kinds of pharmaceutical patents, which they believe to be low quality patents. My research, in a way, is a response to previous research suggesting that despite a lot of concern in the 1990s and 2000s that trips would raise drug prices in India, uh, previous research suggested it hasn't had all that much of an effect. Uh, my research suggests that uh, that previous work is in way misleading because it's not looking at the right set of drugs at the right point in time. And if you look at what happens after the long transition that involved 3D and, and product patents and things like that, if you look at the drugs that actually are most affected by TRIPS and the types of drugs we're likely to see in the market going forward, uh, we're starting to see in our preliminary research pretty large price impacts and competition impacts. I think going forward, as more and more drugs start to get primary patent protection in India, you're going to start to see high prices in India, and India, like many other countries, is going to have to grapple with implications for uh, affordability and for access to medicines.